Hey everyone, it's IkeFNX here and welcome to another episode of Deep Look Dragon Ball Super Series. On today's episode we will analyze Goku Black and where exactly does his strength scale given what we know so far, utilizing both the anime and the manga. Zamasu, a Supreme Kai of the Universe 10, after a fight with Goku has decided he should take action upon the mortal and for that he used the Dragon Balls to switch bodies with him. Afterwards he went to Trunks' timeline to exact his justice on everyone around there, after destroying and killing all the Supreme Kais and the God of Destruction all together, so he would have no opposition. His power level is something that has been growing as he has fought Trunks time and time again over the span of one year, and that is consistent of both on both the anime and the manga. However, there are some discrepancies on them both even though they follow the same story. In the anime, Trunks mentions that Black is stronger than a Super Saiyan 3 Goku, and stronger than himself as a Super Saiyan 2. And that's also said in the manga. However, when Goku fights Black for the first time in the anime, he uses just his Super Saiyan 2 form. And in the manga, Vegeta fights Black as a Super Saiyan 2 as well. So there we have the first, the first part where they are equal however different. Regular base Black fights a Super Saiyan 2 on both versions. What caught everyone's attention was the fact that Black went Super Saiyan in the manga. And further increased our attention as Black was not overwhelming Vegeta as a Super Saiyan 2. And since Black's base was stronger than a Super Saiyan 2, we would expect Black to have the upper hand, however that never happened. To make things more complicated, Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta acknowledges that he is stronger than Super Saiyan 2 Trunks, who was on par with a Super Saiyan 3 Goku, and also says that Trunks stands no chance against Super Saiyan Black. And this sentence can also be found in anime when Vegeta says that Trunks cannot defeat Black when he shows up. From this we can testify that Goku was in fact holding back a lot when fighting Trunks on both the manga and the anime, since he and Vegeta are practically the same power level. At some point Vegeta tells Black to use his full power, which then he proceeds to go Super Saiyan Blue to force him. After getting backed up into a corner, Black finally went full power on his Super Saiyan 4, but he was still weaker than Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, which proves that Black was indeed holding back a lot when fighting Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. But that made no difference as Vegeta almost killed Black, who was rescued by Zamasu which then provided him with a Zenkai in which gave Black the power up he needed to transcend the power of a Super Saiyan God, as he was able to fight on par with a Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. It's evident that Black's power up during the anime was replaced with the Zenkais by Zamasu in the manga, so we shall treat them as such. Black got one Zenkai in the anime and one Zenkai in the manga, and both of these Zenkais made him able to damage Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. With that said, we will treat them as the same Zenkai in both narratives. I would like to share my theory on why Super Saiyan Black was cut from the anime. After both Zenkai in the anime and the manga, Black was able to stand to Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta even without going to own his version of Super Saiyan Blue, or Super Saiyan Rose. Looking back at Battle of Gods, Goku was also able to stand to Beerus in his base form in the movie and in his Super Saiyan 4 in both the movie and the anime. And now, Looking at Black, I think this is what has happened to him, and since there was no big difference from base Goku to Super Saiyan Goku in the Battle of Gods movie, that is why I think the anime cut off his Super Saiyan version of Black. And also to help in further explaining why I think this is what happened, I would like to elaborate on something that the anime has been consistently showing visually without having any characters outright say what the changes are, which will help us understand Black's power up. During his fight with Goku, his aura suffered two changes throughout the fight. Firstly, he begins with this aura that is transparent, basically. And then after a little power-up, he went to the second form where the innards of the aura is purple and he has those white pellets that keep flowing up just like we see in the Super Saiyan Blue transformation. That could be a visual representation of him being able to harness the godly key inside Goku's body which is shown further ahead when Black goes back to the future and he finally realizes Goku's fighting style and embeds his power into himself. Or rather, he learns how to access the power that was already hidden inside of the body. In other words, it is shown to us how Black is finally able to fully access Goku's power foreshadowing his transformation to Super Saiyan Rose in the first place. Though keep in mind that Black was only able to become Rose after fighting Vegeta as a Super Saiyan Blue, as that clearly happened over here. Which was similar to the reaction Goku had when fighting Beerus on the King Kai's planet. He somehow suddenly just backed up 
when he senses something that he could not explain. Which is basically what happened with Vegeta and Black here as well. Which also goes in line with the manga as Black was only able to transform to Rosé after Vegeta as a Super Saiyan Blue fought him. Black as a Super Saiyan Rosé is a lot easier to gauge strength-wise, as he is clearly superior to everyone else until Vegeta comes back from the Hyperbolic Lion Tamer. Time Chamber. Yes, Hyperbolic Time Chamber. Be it Goku or Trunks, using all of their rage, be it in a Super Saiyan Rage form, or Goku raging over the death of his loved ones, they will never be able to overcome Black. And Vegeta himself, he had his moment to shine, doing the same dialogue he used in the manga. Even then, Vegeta's overpowering of Black could have been a trade change. True, the manga portrays the exact same dialogue between Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta and Black, as the Super Saiyan in the manga and Rose in the anime. It is unclear, however, if Vegeta was supposed to be stronger than Rose at this point, given that Black powered up even further after that giant dialogue exchange. So, in the end, Vegeta was weaker than Black. Toei maybe wanted Vegeta's highlight to be greater, making it against Super Saiyan Rose instead of the Super Saiyan as it happened in the manga because the end result is the same. But I don't think this is enough to complain because that scene was marvelously reasoned and animated and it was awesome. But I digress. So in the end, Vegeta was weaker than Super Saiyan Rose Black because Black only backed out of the fight after he saw that Zamasu was in distress. I also would like to add that the anime has amplified Black's power-up by giving him a new type of energy sword to make it a visual demonstration of his power-up. To add to what I said before about his aura changing, but unlike the aura, his power-ups were consistently hinted and talked about. That about closes up all there is to say about Goku's Black arguably inconsistent power-ups, but we have been able to put together all the facts to properly access his power level. In the end, Black Goku turned out to be very strong, almost single-handedly making the two base theory valid, where his base form rivaled a Super Saiyan God as he managed to catch Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta by surprise, and he, the fact that he had a godly aura. His Super Saiyan form and Super Saiyan 2 not having any significant boosts over his godly base form, except for his Super Saiyan Rosé transformation that turned out to be stronger between the 2.5 Super Saiyan Blue trio. So in the end we have Goku Black as Rosé up on the top, followed by the 3 Super Saiyan Blue, then we have Super Saiyan Black and Base Form Black just below, and the rest is Super Saiyan 3 Goku, Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, Super Saiyan 2 Goku, the Super Saiyan 2 Trunks, etc. Making it a nice consistent list. And if you liked the video, please leave a like and comment as I would like to know your feedback as it helps out a great deal. I will also leave the link here where I talk about the Super Saiyan Blue transformation and its many different appearances in between the charities of the saga. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.